Personal Journal, 23.5. The reason we should admire the Nazis is quite simple. How can one fail to admire them? The beauty of their imagery is reason enough. The work of Albert Speer, Lenny Riefenstahl, and other German neoclassicists recreate a brutal aesthetic that has always impressed me. Not to mention Martin Heidegger and his being in time, published the same year as Mein Kampf. Then there are the uniforms, pure sadomasochistic chic. Of course, the occult roots of the movement are fascinating. The swastika, a symbol of the sun central to Northern European paganism, inverted here and used as part of Dietrich Eckhart's occult group, the Thule Society, of which Hitler was a member in the early 20s. The so-called crimes, so many, so varied. And many of the Nazis' tactics and beliefs have been embraced and used by governments of, say, the USA, to control their black and Hispanic populations in ghettos, using massive amounts of narcotics to destroy and corrupt entire communities. Indeed, the Holocaust itself, used by the victors of World War II to totally demonize the Nazis, is now itself being questioned. Personally, I don't wish to contemplate, however briefly, the possibility that the Holocaust may in fact never have happened. Not out of any ill will toward the Jews per se, but because the resolve necessary to commit a crime on such a grand scale harkens back to the glory days of the human soul. It's heartening to realize that such a reversion to primordial instinct is not so distant as we might suspect, and that no human community is any further from barbarism than polished steel is from rust. <laughs>